It is Morning Talk with Martha Zoller, and David Perdue is joining me right now. And it doesn't surprise me at all that he's leaving everything on the field. And I appreciate you being back with us today. We got, what, six days to go? Six days. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's a campaign that just keeps on giving. I mean, we won this election, Martha, as you know, back in November by two points. And every other state but one, I'd already been reelected. That margin of victory is as good or better than most uh, senators who've already been reelected this cycle. But we are a few thousand votes short of that 50% rule. So here we are on a nine-week runoff. Kelly Leffler and I are doing everything we can to get this vote out because we know if we get our vote out again, we win this and we hold the line against this radical socialist agenda the Democrats are trying to perpetrate. You know, right now, uh, Republicans are trailing um, a little bit as far as turnout, but they're ahead of where they were on November 3rd or for that election as far as early voting goes. So does that encourage you or does that worry you? You know, I'm an outsider of this thing, uh, Martha. I don't really look at a lot of the polls and, and the numbers, but I will say this. We're ahead of where we were in November. There's no question about that. And you can tell by the Democrats they're struggling right now because you see even Stacey Abrams out again talking about voter suppression. They're laying the groundwork for their voter suppression uh, act. It was not uh, backed up in, in uh, 2018 when they, they did it the first time. It's not it's not valid today. We have automatic voter registration in Georgia. The only thing that, uh, that I'm calling out is the fact that her sister, who is a judge, in, I think inappropriately did not recuse herself and, ju- and ruled on a, a case involving her sister. So I, I think that the, there's some definite improprieties here. What I'm focused on, though, is, is January the 5th. We've got to make sure the day is the last day of statewide early voting. We've got to get every Republican vote out today or Tuesday. Some counties have well, votes tomorrow, but statewide is, is today. Well, I'm glad that you brought up the Stacey Abrams situation with her sister because, you know, the media just doesn't even want to do the homework on this, meaning that they call it purging. But do you know what the process is? You have to go four years and not vote at all. And then for the next two years, you get letters at the address where you were registered. And if you don't respond to that, then in another year, you get put on a list to be taken off the roll. I mean, it's a seven-year process of a person that hasn't voted in Georgia. It's not purging the rolls. It's keeping the rolls clean so that people who are supposed to vote don't run into problems voting. Well, imagine how many people uh, die over a seven-year period. You're exactly right. This is in compliance with federal law. It does nothing but continue to keep the the, uh, voter rolls clean. I would think anybody would want to do that. It's, It's the American way. But what happens is you just look at the steps that Stacey Abrams has done. First of all, she brought the lawsuits, you know, uh, you know bullied our, our Secretary of State and, uh, and got some things done. That was This is the first time we've had these kind of problems in Georgia. Before, we didn't have these kind of problems. We could get, determine the outcome of the race that night, of election night. Now it takes days. Our uh, absentee balance went from 5% to 30%. This is the plan that they had all along because absentee ballots have a lower standard of proof of who is voting. If you're voting in person like most Republicans do, you have to have a, a photo ID, either a driver's license or some sort of, of proof that you're who you are. In an absentee ballot world, it's only a signature, and we now have serious questions about that. I've called since the first week after my election in November for a, uh, a signature audit, and not the one that they, they just did in uh, in uh, uh, Cobb County. Cobb County. I want to compare back. You know, I want to compare back to uh, the original registration signature or the DMV signature, not an application signature, because I think there's some nefarious activity there, and the president does too. And we have not been able to get satisfaction on any of that yet. So I think there are issues that have arisen in this election that are going to be great issues for Republicans going forward. Education is a big one, which you've been on the side of from the beginning, because I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican, you are worried that your kids aren't in school and they're not doing as well. Obviously, access to health care, which is another one that you've been working on since the beginning. You may be an outsider, David Perdue, and you still are, but your finger is on the pulse of the issues that are important to Georgians. Well, you know, I went there to make a difference because I saw the direction of the country going in the wrong direction, and we've changed that with President Trump. I mean, we passed regulation changes. We are now energy independent. We passed a tax bill that makes us competitive in the rest of the world, and we saved our community banks. 
we have helped six and a half million people pull themselves out of poverty prior to COVID. And during the COVID crisis, we changed the way we develop vaccines and produced a vaccine within a year, which normally would have taken three years. And we now know the Democrats would have locked us down that entire period. So I'm very gratified by what we've accomplished. We deepened the port. We brought the cyber headquarters to Georgia. We've saved our farmers in South Georgia by getting disaster relief down there. So there's a lot of good things. That, no, what we got to do now is elect these two Republican senators, Kelly Leffler and me, to hold the line and protect what we've accomplished over the last four years. So to do that, every Republican in the state who voted in November has no excuse. They have got to get out today or Tuesday if they haven't voted already and vote. What do you want your closing argument to be as you go through these last few days? Ronald Reagan reminded us that freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. Our responsibility is not to me, not to our current generation, but to our children and our children's children, as Reagan reminded us. And our responsibility, people who believe in America, who love America, as I do, have got to stand up right now and protect her. What's happening is an onslaught by the extreme liberal left of the Democratic Party that when they make these changes, they'll have total control. They'll change our our, organiz- our government the way we know it, and we may not be able to come back in, in, in my lifetime and have any degree of correction. Senator David Perdue, people get out to vote. This is the last day of early voting in some places, in most places. Uh, then you can go out to vote on Tuesday. Uh, we've got all the information up on accesswdun.com as far as how to vote and where to vote and all of that. But be careful, get out there and vote, and send David Perdue and Kelly Leffler back to the Senate. Thank you, Senator Perdue, for being with us today.